Hey guys, <clears throat> Kev here, and I uh, figured I would do a disassembly on the Premium Pony Stout Titanium S90V dropping on March 22nd at White Mountain Knives exclusively. These will be $175 retail, and you can use discount codes. So I'm using this little driver here from. <clears throat> o dot show you sent it to me. I think it's 3D printed. I don't even know what this bit is, but I'm using it. I should probably be a little more careful, but hey, what are you gonna do? Um, QSP OEM. What kind of bit is this? It's like a it's like a security bit. T8. I don't really like that. Let's get rid of that. Let's use one of these instead. Anyway, you don't need to take the clip screw out because that's not, well, it is connected to the liner, but I mean, I'm going to take the liner off, so it should be fine. Um, and there you go. It'll have Devo knives down there. The steel is inside on the backspacer right here. Yeah, I know the backspacer is not made out of S90V. People always say that. Hey, <laughs> you're so funny. Uh, sorry. Five millimeter, one sixteenth bearings is what y'all gonna need if you're gonna do skip a ponies. I would recommend you check the stop pin. It is possible that the stop pin can shift. Uh, I don't know. In assembly, sometimes they over tighten the pivot, and that'll push the stop pin one way. Um, if that happens to you, you'll know because your action will feel like really odd, like it won't want to close. Um, and you just got to take the knife apart and then push the stop pin to whichever side. So you just put it on like a table and then push down. I mean, it's usually really easy. Once you set it, it's not going anywhere unless you crank the pivot to oblivion, which they tend to do in uh, assembly. D-shaped pivot. Captive here. QSP. I've never had an issue with QSP not uh, loctiting this side been a thing for us on the uh, Stout V2. Best Tech didn't Loctite this side, so this is unscrewing and people are like, what's going on with my knife? It's not centered or there's play and it's all tight over here. Well, it's this side. Sorry. Sorry. But anyway, we're working with everybody on that who's hit us up. It's only been like 10 people, but it is annoying. Uh, so the way this is set up with a liner on one side, you have one washer. So you have a washer over here and you have a steel liner on this side. And here's your lock bar, your, as somebody made a funny joke one time, your a la lock bar. <laughs> I don't know why that still cracks me up, but it does. And I would recommend cleaning all this stuff so that you don't have any stick. All right, alcohol, do, 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 sorry. All right, now we're gonna take KPL and KPL Heavy, and we're gonna take the Heavy, and we're going to take it on this side right here. The detents on these, as far as the 15 or so that I've handled so far, are what I would call strong as fuck. And so there's going to be people out there that do not like this knife because the detent is too strong. I'm going to warn you now. So if you uh, like a strong detent, you're probably going to like this knife. Now, I can't promise they're all strong, but I've handled, you know, 15 of them so far and they've all been like, they kick. You know what I mean? That is what we asked for, um, you know, because that is my preference. Uh, so, you know, but some people don't like that. I don't know why. No, I'm just kidding. I know why. Um, yeah, if you have like arthritis or something, this might not be the best knife for you, but it's very similar to the OG. So if you had one, you should know it's, it's, um, yeah, it's a little bit stout as they would say. So we put our skiffs in, we got it lined up here. I'm going to clean this pivot screw. Um, also, FYI on the clip, if you do flip it over, if you're lefty, um, 
QSP was kind enough to put the little uh, plastic things under the clip so that you don't have that mark on the titanium. Um, but one other thing to note is that the clip screw on the uh, clip side is longer than the clip screw on the show side. So if you flip the clip, make sure you take the screw that is with the clip because you'll find that you cannot get the clip in with that other um, screw. So just want to point that out. So far, so good. Centering looks good with the skiffies. Eee. Wow. That's me for you. It's fine. Just being a dumbass. All right. Centering's good. Detent feels good. No stick, no play, no rock, a little shake down, and a D10 kicks. I mean, look at this. I'm pushing this whole time. Ah, here's another one. Ugh. <laughs> so that's how it is, all right? That's how it is. No in and out. How's the, uh, yeah, I mean, it's tight. Let's see. Yeah, you can, I mean, I can get it to drop more if I want. And, uh, yeah, I still have no play. So, I'm going to go ahead and do my thing. Again, like I said, you don't want to over tighten the, uh, is this screw jacked up? Uh, I think it's me, but it doesn't matter because it's my knife. You guys obviously won't be rushing through this at midnight trying to knock this out. Uh, just get it too tight. No play. Good action. All right. Do you need the skiffs? Eh, not really. Why do I do it then? Well, because I put them in everything, guys. You can go to skiffworkshop.com. You can use my code, LeftyEDC. There's also an affiliate link down there. It does help the channel if you guys use those links. While you're there, I highly recommend you pick up a finger bit and a test fit card so you know the size of your bearings. And you can always... Get a uh, double-sided pivot out. No play. Great action. Detent. Pops. And there you go, guys. That is how you disassemble and reassemble a Devo Knives Pony Stout uh, Premium. You know, we got to be careful with that name because it's a $175 knife. I don't want people thinking it's like... Some crazy premium knife. But for what it is, you know, we took the budget version and we put premium materials on it. Um, so that's kind of how, we, you know, we defined it. It has that, oh man, that beautiful hollow grind. Oh my goodness. We added that milling. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. Still got that beautiful choil. Sure. Yeah, it's just going to break in. No lash, nothing. QSP did a good job on these. Um, I think we hit the price point we wanted and, and everything kind of worked out on this. So I hope you guys enjoy them. But these are dropping on the 22nd. If you're interested, the Growlers may have already dropped by the time this video goes up. I'm not sure. Um, on the 4th of March, we dropped a few hundred of these at White Mountain Knives. Hopefully, if you wanted one, you got one. Uh, maybe they're still available. Very possible. And, um, yeah, thank you guys for all the support. We love you. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.